Hey guys, <laughs> Thomas here. Uh, today's video <laughs> about Barry. Um, so we're going to talk tech. <laughs> we're going to be talking technological advances uh, in the years since we were, we were, we were friends. Um, and, uh, you know, we were always into, into tech and it was one thing that we, we both like. A lot of men do, do like dealing with their tech. So we, we definitely liked um, communications <laughs> on certain things, on certain levels. Okay. So um, back in 1977, um, that's when we first became our partnership, that's when we became friends. 1976, 1977. So Christmas of 1977, I believe, um, we got digital watches. Um, he got a LED National Semiconductor uh, watch. Um, please look at my blog. I have some, some pictures of uh, the type of tech that we were using at the time. So. Um, see my blog posts below and you'll, um, and you'll see uh, this um, link to, to the blog post and it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, Barry's Tech. <laughs> I'm going to just call it the, the Barry's Tech. <clears throat> so uh, he, had a, uh, he had a national semiconductor uh, LED watch and I had a Timex Sinclair. No, it was just a Timex watch. Um, only had five functions and I love that watch to death uh, that watch I think I, I had it until like maybe about five years later I don't know what I did with the watch um, but I loved it um, one thing at the school I was going to uh, a lot of people would be robbing people can you believe that in a public school people be robbing people who would have thought that but <laughs> people do steal I'm serious so so I would wear the watch um, around the house, but not definitely not to school because I didn't want to get uh, to grow legs and walk away. So uh, he had um, that watch, and he had it for about a year. So then one day he said, and he wouldn't watch, he wouldn't wear it. I said, hey, Barry, where's your where's your watch at? He said, Oh, it broke, man, it broke, it broke. Really, it's a brand new watch. What happened to it? I don't know, man, but I had to send it back. Okay, this was the thing with Barry. <laughs> Stuff would break. He would go, I don't know what happened to the watch. He said, well, I had to send it back to the company. i never seen that damn watch again. <laughs> it's been over 40 years now. I have not seen that damn watch. Same thing with his, with his, with his, with his ring, his school ring. He gave that ring to some chick. <laughs> he never got it back. I don't know what it is with him. <laughs> Stop your permanent loan. I don't know, <laughs> but I never seen the watch again after uh, I'll say about after 1978. So, uh, watch is a watch is a watch. Um, then, um, in uh, 1978, uh, he got a CB radio, and I love the CB. He had a 20, he had a Royce 23 channel CB. Uh, CB CBs at the time were the thing with the truckers, you know, with the Smokey and the Bandit and the Convoy song and stuff. He had a, a 23 channel CB. Um, it, it was a mobile unit, but he got a jury rig that it could run on house power. And he had a little mobile antenna outside, uh, and it worked. He, he, uh, it could go about five, six miles, <coughs> and we weren't too far from I-95, where there's a lot of travel truck and traffic. So it was cool. As, it was cool. As, it was cool. As, it was cool. Talk to people and you know, chewing the chewing the stuff, <laughs> chewing the steak a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this show family family friendly, okay? Because I could, and I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, so he got a CB, and then I got a CB. Um, I got a a Royce. No, I'm sorry. I mean, he got the Royce mobile, and I had gotten uh, like a year later on. I got a Lafayette. 40 channel CB because they was switching from 23 channels to 40 channel, so um, they didn't have any more 23 channels. So I got a 40 channel, and uh, that's when real fun ha happened. <laughs> so I had a, a base station 
And so I was able to contact him. So instead of me calling him on the phone all the time, we would, you would, uh, we would be in communication uh, or on the radio, <laughs> talking all night long. And it was really agonizing for my for my neighbors because when I go on and, and key up the mic, and <laughs> the, our signals would interrupt his TV, and <laughs> because the bands were kind of tight, I don't know. Plus the power put up, it kicks out you know a little bit of power because because T, CB at the time could cause a little uh, interference with radio with TV reception, and he could pick them up because sometimes you got people down about a mile away. Uh, with uh, 500 watts, they'll be blasting the whole neighborhood with their crap. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, it, it came. To, it became the source of some some situations. As an adult now, I understand. I was being very disrespectful. And I apologized, you know. But you know, at the time I was like, family, 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 double barrel. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. So we so we had a CB and we would communicate with each other. Uh, one night we would say, "Okay, we're gonna spend the night all night long. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna uh, stay on the radio all night long, and we're gonna talk to the new year come in." Okay, this had to be uh, 1978 going into 1979. And he said, "Yeah, okay, let's do that. Yeah, okay." So we were up, you know. So um, about 11:30. You know, we were jubilant at 12 o'clock came, we were talking. We had another friend of ours who was um, another young boy, and he had a CB too. So we were all three talking, talking smack, that kind of thing. Uh, but towards like 1 o'clock, you know, the other boy said, look, guys, I'm, I'm gone. All right, I'm going. I'm tired. So I said, okay, all right, Bert, are you still good? Said, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, let's keep on talking. You know, so we talked. Then about 15 minutes later on. The, the the frequency of our chatter started to get a little waning, and then uh, he wouldn't say anything. And he said, "Oh man, I was just resting my eyes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, what you say?" So then, about five minutes later on, that was in the night for him. I had never heard from him the rest of the night. I was up to about two o'clock talking to people on the radio, but he was done, <laughs> which is always the case with him. <laughs> he would fall asleep at the drop of a hat. I don't know. It's, I did, I should have known it was a pattern with him. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so we we were in the CBs at the time, and, and we and we we liked it. And then we uh, got into um, cell phones. Well, he had a page before me, and I finally got a, a, a phone too. So, um, so we had you know the regular phones um these were at&t cellular one uh, type deals uh and he was the first person i ever knew he first he had he would have like a nokia's that was because everybody had nokia's and he didn't have a razor but he had nokia phones so well, you know we were talking he was on i think uh cellular one and i was on cellular one too Cellular one became i think uh at&t and I kept that, and then he went to somebody else. I, think, I can't remember. It's been many years. And then he got a G one, uh, the the Google phone, the first generation Google phone, because you know uh, everybody was. He had, and I had a Droid. I love my Droid, but before I had the Droid, I had a bag phone. Uh, yes, uh, if you ever see Lethal Weapon, the first one. Uh, within 10 minutes of the movie where Danny Glover is talking about his new partner, he had a bag phone. That phone is what I had. I, this was talking about 19, 1998. Uh, I got it from Sam's Club. It was on uh, I think Cellular 1, I believe. Um, and so he had a, I had a bag phone and he had a, another phone. That was before the Google phone. But that's what I had. And then uh, he got a Google phone. And then when he got his Google, the G1, uh, he, he said, yeah, I got this phone. I mean, it was real slick. Uh, I liked it. And he said, yeah, yeah. So he had the phone for a minute. And then he said, you know what I did with that phone? I was driving my motorcycle. And the damn thing flipped out of my pocket. <laughs> because he asked me, did you see my phone? I said, no, I don't have it. Said, oh, my goodness. And I was over his house. He said, Oh man, I, I dropped my phone. It's somewhere on the on the highway. 
And I'm like, oh, well. So he go get a new phone. So then um, we um, went through several phones. He told me about going to AT&T. Uh, so I would get some advice on him about getting AT&T. And I had AT&T for a while until they started acting stupid. <laughs> and then he went to, from AT&T, he went to T-Mobile, where he eventually stayed in T-Mobile until he passed away. Uh, but he had an iPhone 11 Pro Max, and um, for years I would I was committed to Android. I was I had the Droid, and then uh, I was still stay the Droid. Then I I got that uh, uh, the um, the BlackBerry Storm. That was a piece of crap. When I first get, it's supposed to be the iPhone chat channel when the iPhones came out. So I got the the BlackBerry Storm from from Verizon. That was a piece of crap. Most phones that I when I when I finished with them uh, and, I, and I went up and I got an, another phone. Um, I think I got a Samsung. I got a Samsung, and I when I got that phone, I took that BlackBerry Storm. I had such a time with it. I mean, it was it, it was crap. It was so bad that I took the phone and I threw it into the bay. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, but I did. I hated that phone. It really, literally pissed me off. It it was the BlackBerry Storm was was nasty. So I got rid of that phone. So then, long story short, we both got iPhone 11s, iPhone 11 Plus, uh, Pro Max. Uh, I got mine. And he had a, he had an eight, and it was and he said, "Well, you finally joined on to the iPhone." I said, "Yeah, I decided to you know because I got tired of uh, I'm going to see how the other half lives because I was always Android." So and I said, "It was a nice phone." He, he, he I said, "Why don't you go and check it out?" He liked it so much, he went and got himself the I Pro Max too. I said, "You son of a gun!" So, so we well, for a while we, we you know we we had a good time until my phone was no longer <laughs> that's another story but uh, he used that phone until he he passed um, but I did take a look at his phone his phone was well used he had scrapes bumps <laughs> bruises on that phone I mean it was still a good phone but you know it, it, it went through some battles with him <laughs> so but um, but that's usually how our tech went um, so we, we like tech a lot so we try to stay current he, um, as far as um, he he had a PlayStation Four. Um, me, uh, I had uh, PlayStation Three, and then uh, so we we, we kind of want like that games, but you know, but we didn't really play on online together. Um, so he was busy, and I was busy, you know, with families and that kind of thing. Anyway, that's all I want to say before right now. So, you guys have a good day. I'm enjoying talking with you guys. Um, let me know about your tech, what things that you like, what things that you think are a piece of crap. <laughs> Family friendly, please. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. I'm out.